There's nothing better than a traditional Irish stew to warm you up in a cold winter Dublin day. I'm sitting down in the Brazen Head and I think this is the oldest pub in Dublin and I'm enjoying this uh, beautiful Irish stew. And I got a complimentary Irish soda bread to pretty much make use of sodium bicarbonate instead of the traditional yeast. And this beautiful Irish stew, it contains meat and it looks like mutton and a gravy of potato, onions and some other vegetables, uh, carrots, parsley. We've got two beautiful bowls of mashed potato on top of it. Let's try to get some potato and some stew in the same spoon. There we go. Nice and piping hot. Okay, let's try. Now we'll have ready some soda bread just to chase it with. The lamb flavor has penetrated this gravy. There's a lot of onion flavor as well. Also black pepper. And the soda bread is so nice and puffy. Yeah, just tastes like fresh bread. What I like to do in this case is just to get some, uh, some of the meat and the gravy over the bread and just eat it like that. Get some potato as well. Oh, this is gonna be a big bite though. Okay, I'm ready. The lamb is super tender. Spice it a little bit. Oh, I love it. Just love it. Look at that. Try to not make a mess. The soda bread is slightly sweet. I love the parcel in this soda bread and gravy bite. Mm. Get the spoon with just some potato and gravy and meat without bread, just to taste the pure, the pure meat and gravy. sitting down here in Dublin for breakfast and what I'm gonna have is a box tea which is a traditional Irish potato pancake and you usually eat box tea with something else I'm gonna have it with salmon and eggs like poached eggs in a place that's called well box tea temple bar area of Dublin and they specialize in in this kind of so dish. Much. Cheers. Thank you. And my box tea has arrived. Salmon and two beautiful poached eggs and the box is pretty much on the bottom and you can't even see it but I'm gonna try to uncover this beauty and I need to sort of remove the egg from the top I don't want to break it but there's a layer of salmon and a layer of is that spinach yeah I think so that's the box there let's try to get a piece of this mmm it's got a firm consistency well wow. let's put some spinach into it a little bit of salmon, nice, nice bite. And let's try this box thing. Mm. Compared to other potato pancakes that I've had, it's got a beautiful, fine, like grain texture to it. A little bit of a bouncy texture, and uh, you know, it's not crispy compared, you know, to the Polish potato pancakes, for example. And get some of the egg yolk and the spinach complement very well the dish I'd say oh, it's really good it's a nice finding here in Dublin boxy and obviously one of the main things that you need to try in Dublin is um, the fish the seafood Ireland is one of the major exporter of seafood actually in most of Europe so it's open this beauty. I've got here a selection of seafood including some prawns, fresh salmon and some crabs, nuggets. Let's get one of the prawns and let's give it a try. Mm. 
super fresh prawns. They're a big, quite chunky, huh? Yeah, this is cocktail sauce. It's really good. Let's go for one of these crab nuggets. Super fresh. Also got this beautiful salmon bites. Irish salmon is actually very famous. It's supposed to be one of the tastiest salmon in the world. Mm. Fantastic. Mm. Super smoky. Very tender. Let's squeeze some lemon on top. I think it will make it even better. <coughs> Maybe dip it into the sauce as well. Ah, oh, this is the perfect bite. Another traditional Irish food that you need to try in Dublin is the Irish pasty. I bought it from a little store that sells Cornish pasty, but this is called the Dubliner. It's particular because it's got traditional Irish um, food in it. it contains lamb. Uh, potatoes and uh, blue cheese. So let's unravel this small package. Okay. Look at that. It's actually massive. It's a piping rod. Yeah. Beef filling. You can definitely taste the blue cheese in it, there are potatoes. You know, strong goodness taste. Nice and flaky on the outside. There's a lot of meat in there. Apart from the filling, which is Irish, obviously, everything seems to sort of remind the traditional Cornish pasties here with their rolled edge. And obviously, they have attracted a few beards as usual. So if you are in Dublin, definitely get one of these Irish pie. They're basically pies with steak. And I'm gonna have the signature steak and Guinness pie straight from the Guinness brewery. So the way they serve it here is they bring you a small cup with the, the gravy and the beef. And then on top you've got the crispy pasty. And I also got like a slice of so-called Guinness bread, butter on top. The pasta itself looks very, very crispy. The soup is a little bit sour, and it's got obviously shredded beef in it and different kind of vegetables. I think carrots, um, onions. Uh, there is parsley, very beefy flavor, and the, the pasta is very crispy and nice. The pasta is actually nice and salty on the top. Very nice. There's a lot of beef in this small pot. 